to share a little story and then we're going to get started. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Last night I went down to the Salvation Army. And I saw a bunch of guys down there last night who had zeal for the Lord, even though they're dealing with some things in their lives and that's why they're there. And I was telling Nick after I got out of there how much I love to preach to people who are dealing with something and are so desperate for Jesus Christ. So tonight, not to come down on anybody, not to make you feel bad, not to feel like you've been rebuked or I'm yelling at you or I'm coming and condemning you. But the question goes like this. If we've just come into this house for just to get away from something, then we've missed the point. But if we've come here tonight as corporate worship, meaning the guy next to you or the girl next to you or, or the person next to you is worshiping, why are you here is the question. Why are you here tonight? I'm here for Jesus. I'm here because Jesus died on a cross for me. I'm not just here to play drums. I'm not just here to preach to you. I'm not just here to, to be your pastor. I'm not just here to do the cheerleading section. But I'm here to worship my God and my King. So I'm going to ask you honestly. I can't beg you to do it. I can't force you to do it. I can't cheerlead you into it. We can't stand up and yell, but we can ask the question, why are you here tonight? Why are you here tonight? So as I'm praying tonight, I don't want you to focus on anything other than you and your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You by yourselves with God. If you want to come up front and worship with us, that's great. If you want to sit in the back and sit down and act old, that's okay with me too. And that was supposed to be a joke. So you can sit back there, Pooh. It's all right. <laughs> but tonight, I want, I want the real thing. I want a real Jesus to step foot in this place. And I want to feel God in a real way. And if we have the next hour together and we, we have an opportunity to feel a real presence of the Lord. If we have an opportunity to come in here to this house and really worship our God and our King, then are you ready to do that? Because if you come in here to distract or to pull somebody else away, then you're here for the wrong reason, amen? Because we're supposed to be a church ready to worship our Lord and our Savior and our King and our God. And we're just Christians with messed up ideas of who God is. We have messed up things going on in our minds, but I'm asking you to put that aside for the next hour, for the next 15 minutes, for the next 25 minutes, for the next couple of seconds, and just worship God and your King and your Lord. If you're ready to do that, if you're really ready for a real God and a real change in your life, if you really want something new, something spectacular, something anointed, something that God wants to do that only God can do, then come in here and worship with me in this band. Not because we're excellent musicians. Because I'm not one of them. I'm just a guy that plays drums for Jesus Christ. So tonight I'm asking you as I pray, where are you at and why are you here tonight? When you've answered that question, can you just raise your hand? i got the answer in my head why I'm here tonight. And as you got your hand up, let's pray. Amen. Christ is heavenly Father, I want a real experience with you tonight. I want a real experience with you, Lord God, like no other. I want a real experience with you, Lord, Lord God, because I'm desperate for you. And I need you, and I need you, Lord Jesus. So I come before you humbly, Lord Jesus, and I'm saying show up in this place tonight. I'm coming before you humbly, Lord God, and I'm asking you to change some lives. I'm coming before you tonight, Lord God, knowing that you are a real God and a real Lord and a real Savior, Lord God. And I ask you to touch those, Lord God, that have come in here broken tonight. I'm asking, Lord God, that you touch those, Lord Jesus, that have addictions tonight. I'm asking, Lord God, that you come in here and you touch those, Lord God, who have been hurt by churches tonight. I'm asking that you come in to this house and to our hearts, Lord God, and change us, Lord God. Make us and mold us, Lord God, into your image. I don't want to leave here the same guy. I don't want to leave here the same person tonight. I want an experience with you. I want an experience with you, Lord God, that I can talk about tomorrow, Lord God, that I can talk about next week, Lord God. I want an experience with you like none other, Lord God. I want revival in my life. I want revelation in my life. I want revolution in my life. 
I want your love and your peace. That's what I want tonight. I don't want it to be about four songs, a message, and going home. I want it to be about four songs where I was able to reach out and touch you and touch your heart. I want it to be about a message that changes me and makes me understand who you are. I want it to be about reconciliation with you, Lord Jesus, where I stretch out my arms and just say, I am nothing without you, Lord. I am nothing without you. So, Lord God, we lift up each and every person that's under the sound of my voice tonight. And I ask that you touch us, Lord God. I'm asking that you be with us, Lord God, for this next 45 minutes or so, and just change hearts and change minds. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Jesus.